Hello everyone, and welcome to Geekly Game Labs Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on the Xbox One. I am Tim. I'm gonna show you uh, a little bit of the cool ASSHIT stuff that you can do in Assassin's Creed 4. I'm gonna try to avoid as many spoilers as possible. I'm, he I'm uh, several hours in so I won't do any of the story stuff, but I'll just show you what I've been doing for the past, like, five hours, which is just being a pirate. This is my ship, the Jackdaw. You get it pretty quickly in the game. Ooh, I gotta save someone. It's more pirate game than assassin game so far. I've only done a few, you know, Assassin's Creedy things. I don't even know if I've met any assassins yet. I don't even know. But the first thing I want to show you is uh, the, the boat stuff mixed with attacking other ships or attacking um, forts, which are pretty awesome. As you uh, roll through um, the... What is this? The Indies? Is that what they call it? I don't know. Um, you have to uh, assert your right to party on the high seas here. So I'm going to attack this fort whilst picking up hot loot. And yeah, these guys don't even know what they're about to have happen to them. So they know I'm coming for them. So they can... All, that's, all that ring and dinging is happening. Sometimes forts will also have um, boats protecting them too. But I'm going to shoot it with a mortar. I don't know if I hit it. You can turn better if you're going slower, but again, you can also be hit easier as well. So I like to do a little bit of mix. Boom! And you see the red here is like you got. You should probably get out of that red zone. But you also can't fire if you're going and traveling speed, which is not what I want. So the whole point is to try to get close enough, destroy all their towers, and also while maintaining the smallest amount of damage to your own person. I'm, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash. I think I crashed. My bad. Ooh, run, fool! There's so many pirate, piratey things you can do, and most of them involve with just acting like a pirate, talking like a pirate, using piratey words. Um, I'm gonna give her that red area. Um, my favorite thing is probably just the just general pirate nature. Um, I, I try to, you know, always be good to my, my crew, um, I always try to give them as, I did it, I did it. Alright, now that we broke the fort, me and my crew infiltrate it, and we want to now go into the fort, which I'll show you some combat, and then... Oh, here they go. They started singing. Alright, so my, my crew is um, cheering me on. So I'll jump off and go attack this fort. Yeah, I'm in the water. Of course I'm in the water. That's what I'm doing. I gotta go attack the fort. Get in there. Kill a captain or two. The way that he runs in shallow water makes me giggle constantly. So I don't really understand the concept, but somehow as soon as you break down the walls, the fort is already overrun with dudes. Yeah, two of my guys got it there, so I usually just like to maybe help out every now and again when I can just kill them in one hit. But if I can't, I run away. 
because I'm not here to fight everybody. I'm here to kill one dude, the captain, right up there. So what I'll do is sneak around and then... Alright, can't get him that way. Sneak around, get above him, and then... Okay. The standard Assassin's Creed jank of not being entirely sure how you can climb and what areas are climbable and which ones are not. You know, abounds here. Oh, I gotta kill this guy. I'm gonna have to fight him. As opposed to just assassinating. And both these dudes are pretty strong, but... But since I broke his guard, I just like push him off the fort. Which is fun. Now everyone's starting to surrender now that all of the... The captain's gone and everything like that. But you saw that like I did my... My combos. My... Sorry, friend. It's kind of... Messed up that you have to kill that guy in order to take it. It's a uh, it's a dark game in the sense that all the other Assassin's Creed games, I did a pretty good job at the beginning. Well, I didn't play Assassin's Creed 3 or um, Assassin's Creed Revelations, so I'm a little behind. Did it. So now that I opened up this uh, fort, the area gets clearer and it shows you everything in the area. So usually these would be these question marks here. But since I took this fort, it's like, hey, you can go hunt sharks right here. Or you can go attack a legendary ship, which, trust me, I did that earlier, and it killed me in one hit. Or you can get some money all around here. And it shows you all the different things you can do. Uh, I've unlocked essentially the top part of the map by capturing these three forts. And it's been um, both rewarding mon monetarily and spiritually. Uh, I'll show you real quick what it's like to uh, be on this fun little island. Whenever you unlock an island, you get either you get a, the man you can pay to get rid of your bribes, because you have like a wanted level on the high seas, or you can uh, get a, a, a mission, or go here and buy some upgrades for your boat. All right, so you have both sugar, rum, cloth, metal, and wood. But sugar and rum you can are basically only used for money. So sell all those to get that sweet scroll. Cloth, metal, and wood you are both used to sell, but also used to upgrade your ship, which is very important. Right now I'm saving up to get the hull armor number three so that I can um, survive longer against bad, bad ships. But... That's 4,000 um, reals, I think, is the money. And 200 wood and 100 metal. I have plenty of metal, but I need more wood. So, and it's all these sort of upgrades. You kind of got to be like, well, don't want to get this now. Don't want to get that now. And uh, sort of balance your own little budget. And while maintaining a full ammunition of different types of, you know, shots, mortar shot, fire barrels, all these things. And now I guess I can theoretically explore this place just to get these chests or to get this animus fragment, but I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know what those do. I assume it's like the black feathers or any of the other flags or anything where you collect all of them and then... What's happening? Whoa, I had no idea that happened. So apparently when other ships get too close to you, your cargo just, your your fort just wrecks them up! Amazing! So maybe what I could do is attack the, the legendary ships and then draw them into my fort. I like that idea. These are all small ships, you can tell right here. They're all little gunboats, they don't really give me anything. But I'll show you what it's like to shoot them. Like I can probably kill this guy in a, a couple hits. Yeah, sorry guy. Usually you can board, you can board uh, ships and attack them, but with this guy, who was so weak, you just like, oh, just shoot him twice, he's gone. 
Uh, I'll both show you the the hunting in the water and the hunting of the water, water creatures. You see what I did there? Now, pay attention very closely to what's going to happen very shortly. You hear that singing? Trust me, I'm, I'm, it's very difficult for me to resist singing along. Mostly I don't know the words. What ship do I want? Fire barrels? No, don't care. Wood? I need that wood. This guy's dead. Oh. Alright, I'm going to get this boat first and then come back and do harpooning because the boat's more important. Although, the harpooning, I get to fight a shark. Which is awesome. I'm traveling at my max speed so I can't shoot anybody. Um, you have your forward cannons, which are used to like disable them, their speed. And you have both sides, so whenever it's whatever area you turn, you can see the cannons light up. But you also have a uh, heavy shot, which is this, and then regular shot. And then you have your mortar. But this guy, he's not strong enough to, des to deserve my mortar sh so I'm gonna shoot him oh, I missed alright so I wanna get oh, I know I hit him that's your swivel shot they shot at me but I think they, they missed that time they hit oh he's gonna try to ram me no he's not so that, that guy was really easy he was like level 8 and they, they tell you what level all of the um the boats are and then they give you this oh, this hook sort of um, graphic on your mini map to be like, all right, board that ship. Boarding is really fun. I usually take the easy way out for smaller ships. So this is a small ship. It only you have to only have to kill five crew members. So what I do is I get on my swivel cannon here, aim at try to find their barrels, their explosive red barrels. And then I shoot that, and then they explode. I missed. Ooh. See, and I just killed two guys there. It's a, kind of the coward's way out of the um, boarding sh of the ship thing. But I'll show you more of what it is. Oh, I missed. Right. They're probably going to beat it for me. If I was closer, it would have been awesome. I would have flung up here, and you'd have been very impressed. Up. Oh, there's a gunboat. My guy just hit me! Uh -huh. So I killed the five guys. I got the boat. The rest of the crew surrenders. They're like, I don't want to take on any any bit of the jackdaw and Kenway. So I got 38 wood, five, uh, 15 sugar, and one extra crew member. You can use it to either repair your ship, lower your wanted level, or send it to my fleet. I'm going to send it to my fleet. I'll show you what that is too. He's like, hey, you're now a pirate captain. And, and that guy's like, bro, <laughs> we did it. And then they are added to your pirate ass pirate fleet. Thank you. That's my, that's my main man, Addy. Me and him started this pirating together in the beginning of the game. Um, Edward Kenway is probably w one of the coolest main characters, uh, one of the most mysterious, and just the sexiest. So uh, eventually, you get the ability to have a fleet um, where you can have uh, upwards of... Right now, I have nine ships unlocked. Uh, this boat isn't very good. It has 14 fire... It's actually decent. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, spend 350 gems to add another dock, which means I get to keep the boat. The issue is that, um, oh, his name's San Francisco? I like it. The issue is that you can either add to your fleet or you can send it, you salvage it for gemstones. 
So I spent a lot of my gemstones in order to get a new dock, which is just another place to put boats. And as soon as I did that, I now move on to my sort of mission success thing. Uh, this is just like in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood where you send them out on missions to go do stuff. And they come back, you get, um, you traded like sugarcane and cocoa, I think. And I got 800 reals, two in a silver two-handed bowl. <laughs> wow. I don't have, I have no idea what these collectibles do. Um, here's my fleet right now. It's, uh, it's pretty dope. All these guys right here are on long, long, long missions. Because you can eventually unlock all these areas here. Go to, you know, just go to Africa, South America, Canada, England, Portugal, all these things. Uh, but while you do that, different routes become dangerous or more or less dangerous. So I'll show you a little bit of this mini game that's fun with my two new ships. It's a, uh, all you're doing here is securing the, the passages. Um, and where you put the boats in formation is where they kind of like to get bonuses. And that was really easy, so it's just you destroy the gunboat, you get gems, and you get materials. It's a really fast and easy way to get more materials, and usually it's really easy if you do it um, enough times. So they never get to the point where you're fighting these beasts of ships. It's like these tiny gunboats that. If you send a really fast ship on the top, you know, you kill it in one hit, they can't do anything. But I'm getting tons of trade materials, <clears throat> which is super helpful because uh, in order to, c to complete missions, you have to have these trade materials. You Either they're, see like, uh, I can go save the children and I need 15 sugar or whatever this is. I mean, I have tons, so it's not a big deal. I'll, I'll try to find one that does, uh, what appears to be wine or oil or something like that because those are um, you, you get a lot less of that also the ships you get you have to make sure they're they have different stats so you either have these ships that are like really good at battle or these ships that are really fast but the main part about this game is not these you know these little mini games here it's the the missions you send them on, just like you sent your dudes off on missions and the other Assassin's games. Um, this you want to be able to have enough cargo on the boats. So maybe you get a weak cargo boat and you don't use it for battling, but you know, you can do it for other stuff. Uh, so let's send a, a small quick trip for this guy. The San Francisco, send him up to... Charlestown and let's send this guy over to there again they're just like quick little things they give you money that's a, money in gyms and other things like that this is all also where I it's raining inside my cabin it's raining inside my cabin I can't get the jack data be better at that I need a I need that upgrade you can also of course change out your weapons here um, you can't buy them, but you can just change them out. This shows you how much money you have and how much, like, if you go to a store, you, what you can um, buy. So I don't have enough money to get new guns, but I do have enough money to get a new sword. Or I can change my outfit. So right now, these are all the ones I own. The normal Edward, these are the, the average Assassin's Creed Edward box art robes brown cloak I think you just get for being a pirate governor's outfit which I like a lot I'm running right now I crafted the feline pout because it's insane looking and then since I played other Assassin's Creed games I got these two but you can go through and just buy all these and they look slightly different but they're expensive but if you know me I enjoy the stylishness look at him he has cat pelts on him and teeth he's amazing I don't know if the cabin changes at all with your decisions and so forth, but let's go hunting. Ooh, I need a, oh, that's not right. Okay, so let's go hunt this bull shark. It's just like Far Cry 3, where you can go hunt animals, and then once you hunt those animals, you get um, 
the ability to craft upgrades. Like right now I have hot, much higher health. I can have more weapons, more ammos. No. Shut up, Eddie. We can do this. I will say that, like, I think I was hinting at it earlier, but then I got distracted. <clears throat> the... He's singing again. Um, the justification for all the murder you do is hard because at the beginning, you're not super piratey. You're a privateer, which is a government-contracted pirate, so to speak. And then all of a sudden you switch over to be piratey, a pirate man. Um, and you're just killing people. Which, you know, it can happen. But they don't really give much justification for it. Maybe, there's a lot of, and they actually are giving you, slowly but surely, uh, Edward Kenway's um, backstory. I'm gonna go harpoon this man. But you, so you, you normally have different missions, right? Like go kill this Templar, go kill that Templar. But at the very beginning of the game, you know, there's all sorts of like, look how good he looks. Edward Kenway is the sexiest video game character this year. You can quote me on that. Uh, so now I'm hunting this shark in the rain, like a pimp. So it's like this little mini game where you stab the shark and then you throw more harpoons at him. It's a hit. And then eventually you get pulled for far enough times. Oops. I have really high uh, harpoon levels. So I kind of want to see what happens if he attacks me. Can he get away? Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Woohoo! Alright, so you kill the, the you kill the shark, you get his his materials, and you can make cool stuff. But as of right now, I'm just a pirate. I'm attacking, you know, English ships, I'm attacking Spanish ships. They're um They're giving me some justifications for my actions, but most of them are just like you're a pirate, you want money. Um and I get that, you know, it's it's just that I sometimes want a little more to my pirating needs. Okay, well, I I was I'm able now to make a bull shark skin dart, but since I haven't unlocked the um, bull shark, whatever the weapon is that requires it, then I can't do it. Uh, I wonder what else is out there to, for my my bloodlust. Another wonderful thing is that you can just straight up fast travel to any of these areas. So if I want to go attack this hammerhead in order to either um, get my dope ass hammerhead outfit or use it to get hammerhead based um, crafting materials, I can do that. But uh, those are those two fun things. I'll show you some of the towns now. Well, first I'll show you a, a real cool bit of it's called your manor. Alright, well, every good pirate needs a pirate cove, and this is mine. You eventually unlock this area, again, pretty early in the game. And depending on how many side quests you do, geez, it's so hard. Um, and it's just kind of like your house, but you can um, get various bonuses. Uh, either just by upgrading the look of it, by upgrading it to give you different shops. For instance, I now have a tavern, a harbor master, and a weapon store. Um, and my house is cool looking. I don't know what happens when you upgrade your house further, but um, I think you get just like cool stuff, but it's expensive. Right now, I have one upgrade for the house and the three basic upgrades. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Ooh, ooh. Ouch. Kenway's great, but he can still break his legs by falling just like a normal man. Cool. Oh! Three wood, that means I think I can upgrade my guy. Been thinking, Captain. Yeah? Build ourselves a grand old bonfire by the beach. Okay. Be a better cheer if they had such a spot to let loose. Is That's that true. I am savvy. But I don't really want to spend 7,000 just to allow me to 
hire drunken pirate groups for free. So, no savvy for me, sir. I can also buy, build a whorehouse, which allows me to get the Cretesians or the ladies for free when I need them in, in the town. But that's really expensive, and I barely use them, and they only cost 150 when I do it. So, um, I need to sell some stuff, you know? Sell all my cargo. Mmm, sugar. Not my cloth in my middle. I need that. Excellent. Merci. I think I have enough wood now to unlock the better hole for my jackdaw. Let's go talk to the harbourman. Hello, pirate friend. Well, I could use a, a better hole for my jackdaw. I, okay, so it's 4,000 reals, 200 wood, 100 metal. And this is going to make me so much stronger. And I have lost several times during battle because it's hard. Is there anything else I can swivel strength? Yeah, I'll do swivel strength. Let's do that. Anything else while I'm at it? Mortar storage? Hmm. I do almost always run out. A lot of times for the final upgrade, you have to have an elite plan, which I think is cool. Uh, usually you have to find those with um, intuition, with skill, and with uh, treasure maps. See, and, and as you get your upgrade, the jackdaw does that abstergo-y, shimmery thing, and it kind of shows you the it changes or whatever. So now my jackdaw How is ever so beefy. It's the beefiest. You can upgrade it with, um, you know, actual things that do stuff. Or you can do it with um, whatever on the, whatever's on the front of the ship, your wheel, or your sails. I usually... I have red sails right now, which I think are really cool. Alright, so that's the, the, the pirate port. I mostly just wanted to go there and sell stuff and just let you know what, what's this, what can go on. Captain's trick. Right, let's sail out to sea. <clears throat> Today, Captain, it's a fine day for any kind of mischief. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British brought to heel. If we can take their gold and put it to use ourselves, I'll be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, Addy. All right, this is going to be a slightly more difficult battle, but hopefully, with cunning and um, skill. I can't be sure. I will destroy these the, the, these British people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a combo. Mortar. This shot. And... So do, I'm just, all I'm doing right now is just rushing them in order for them to like not even have an ability to like react. So, you can do one thing. Look at Hunter. Ah! A pirate hunter's coming at me. So, what the other ships can do is they can put out. Oh god, I'm gonna hit it. They can put out these uh, fire barrels. Okay, I crashed into it and sunk it. That's my bad. All right, so let's. Reezy's weak is right there, Captain. Fire! Ready! This is gonna be a, a slightly more difficult, but I think I need to keep moving. Oh shit! And now I'm just waiting for my. So once I can do one cool thing, you can take advantage of is the during fight during the fight you can take a ship and then after you take it you can use it to actually repair repair your ship itself so it's sort of this um 
Yeah, we're getting hit a lot. I realize. Oh god, he hit me. He's gonna hit me. Oh shit. Ah! I realize. Alright, we're gonna lose. So what I have to do is I have to take that ship that has low health over there. And then board it. If I can do that, then... Okay, I lost. See, what I, I didn't expect the pirate hunter to come in and get me, and then I crashed. <laughs> it's still fun. See the British brought to heal. If we can take their gold and put it to use ourselves, I'd be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, I think. Uh, that guy just, he just went through rock. I mean, that's one way to do it. I think I can get these guys, because they're separated. I did it. See, that was easy because I used strategy um, and cunning. Alright. Stop hitting me. Alright, now I'll board it. And it's a bigger ship. And, that, and the good thing is that guy behind me is like, eh. I'll just chill. They leave you alone, which is a little, a little silly. Oh, there's a pirate. There's a captain. The captains are strong, so shooting them is definitely a good idea. And see, there's, these are British now. So it's almost like I'm a pirate with no allegiances, almost. You can also kill your own men when you do this. So it's a little dangerous. Alright, I'm out of money. Or out of ammo. Headshot! And right now I have three uh, bu uh, bullets. Or three guns. So I can shoot three times without uh, reloading. Take that! So I crush them. I let them know who's boss, and it's me, Edward Kenway. I think this is a pretty decent ship, so I want to keep it. So I'm going to send it to my fleet. I might not have enough um, gems for it, or space for it. But it's a shame, because some of my lower level ships aren't very good. So I want to get rid of them, but they're on missions. It's a tough, it's a tough thing to deal with. Alright, so I got that. What I could do is attack this schooner. Ooh, look at that frigate. Attack this schooner. And then... Use that, the gems that it gives me to maybe buy a new dock? But I think that I need a lot of gems. I have a... A quote unquote wanted level on my boat. But I don't mind. Sometimes it's fun just to ram other boats. Like if they don't know you're bad. It's like, what's up? Because I have a ram. So it's like, ah! Die! See how easy that was? If you hit him with your, um, with your ram, it's like, no thank you, sir. And plus, now that I'm higher, I can take out, like, all of their dudes with my little fun thing here. <laughs> and just like that, the coward's way of fighting against a, a powerful enemy ship.
Because listen, I ain't trying to, you know, get in too many scuffles. I'm going to send this one to Kenwa's fleet, even though I know I don't have enough room for it. They do the exact same animation, even if the person looks like a, a skull creature. Exact same animations, but they... I want to ram you too. Ah, okay. And the best part is just trying to uh, figure out the how to use everything at the right time. Like, my heavy shot's ready. I switch over. Uh, do this. Switch back over to my, my other shot, um, which reloads pretty quickly. She's actually giving it as good as I'm giving it, but now I got it. So now what's happening is they are um, immobilized or whatever. So okay, this one's actually a much, much stronger ship because you have to kill the f uh, 15 dudes, and then you have to kill the two scouts on top. The scouts can be a huge pain, which is why I try to. Kill them with that whatever magics I can. Let's see if I can. Okay, so um, I want to take out the scouts first because the, all they do is up top is just shoot your guys, and it makes me angry. So. We'll go ahead and shoot him in the head. Ah! So I did the standard counter, assassin's screen counter, counter stab. The uh, stab of Palooza. Sometimes it's good to try to pick out weak targets so that, you know, if you kill all of them, you you win. So if there's like a big strong dude who's trying to, you know, hack you with an axe, you're like, eh, I'll just go ahead and um, send you to death by shooting you from far away or just kill a weak guy if it's the f 15th dude. So I'm going to actually send this one to Kenway's fleet also. Which maybe was a bad idea. I mean, I'm still gonna keep the boat, even if I. I think I gotta keep the boat if I lose. And there's another boat near me, but I think it's a small baby boat. A fine prize, Captain. Yeah, it's a scooter. I can Loose get this guy in one hit, so I'll use it to repair myself. Do not leave them muzzled. More sail. All sail. Whoa. The sound it makes when it switches over to. Um, travel speed is amazing. Alright, I was going to crash into it, but sometimes that will actually um, sink it, which is what I don't want. I just want to get him weak and then board it so that I can soon have you kissing my anger boy. That's a dark, it's a dark bit of business we do, but the pirating aspect of this game is so freaking fun. Like, I'm amazed by how much fun it is. I, especially since the last Assassin's Creed didn't get as good <clears throat> review scores and Everything like this, and yeah, this game is more pirate simulator or whatever than, you know, weird Assassin's Creed game. Like, there hasn't been a lot of the insane Assassin's Creed stuff, but, you know, it's still really fun. Alright. 
Let's do this. Make these boys taste my anger. Sorry. Yeah, he still has his, uh, his hidden blades, which, you know, get the job done. So you, it's, this is, seems like a decent ship, but what I'm going to do is going to use it to repair myself. It's just like a self-sustaining bit of business out here in the high seas, which is what I love. Yeah, so that only, it's a smaller ship, so it only gave me one um, repair. So I could probably, that's a brig, so it's stronger. Um, I, could, I could take it, but. All right, well, that's the, the basic sort of like, in my opinion, um, dope assness of Assassin's Creed 4. Yeah, I mean, there's the story stuff, which maybe I'll do a video of that later, but I just wanted to go through and do the sort of various activities that I like to do in the game, which is everything. Um, it's, it's difficult for me to focus. The story has been great, really, like, the, the side pirate characters have been awesome, but there's just so many awesome things you can get, like treasure maps, like weird items, and, like, hunting, and, oh, there's so many good stuff. Like, the databases, like, a lot of the animes, animus da databases, like, will have, um, little notes in them that the people write about, and it's really funny. But, uh, you have a great day. Be sure to subscribe and go head over to geeklyinc.com to see all the other stuff. We're, we're just like the Jackdaw, evolving and getting stronger and adding, uh, new cannons and a, um, uh, a harpy to the front of the prow of the ship. So uh, do all those things and you have a great day.